Hello guys. Today in this tutorial I will show how I created this sci-fi mechanism environment. Delete the default cube. Add torus to the scene, go to edit mode select everything inserted, extrude along the normals by pressing Alt E. Rotate it along the Y axis. Add a camera. Animate the rotation along the X axis by adding keyframes. Duplicate the torus and scale it as it fits in. Change the direction of the rotation by adding negative value and keyframes. Add sphere and scale it as it fits in. Select both sphere and inner torus and move it backwards, cause we gonna animate it. Let's quickly add a simple material, make it metallic. Choose gray as the base color and roughness to 0.2, and it's done. Add bevel modifier to torus for smooth edges. Link the material to another torus. For sphere we'll add emitter material. Select sky blue color. Duplicate the torus and move it backward to give some details in the background. And scale it 4 times bigger by pressing S and 4. Repeat the same duplicate process to fill up the scene background. Now add area light in the background and add volume, set volume density to 0.05. Increase the strength of the light to 1500 watts. Select sky blue color. Select the camera and enable depth of field. Decrease the f-stop to 0.01, set focus distance according to the main torus. Duplicate the torus again, bring it close to the camera as a foreground object. Add area light in front of the foreground. Select sky blue color, set light strength to 300 watts. and make it dim, duplicate the light and move that to another side. And make it brighter. Add point light beside the main torus to give some highlights, set strength to 500 watts, select sky blue color. Next, add a plane to the scene, rotate it along the y-axis, turn off the gravity, and add the particle system to the plane. Then select sphere as an object in the render, randomize the scale, and increase the lifetime of particles. Add turbulence force to randomize the particles.
So let's add more details like wires, and for that, there is an add-on called GeoCables which is based on geometry nodes and is fully customizable. I will add a link in the description, you can download the add-on from there, which is totally free. After completing the installation, you will get an option on the right, Name Day Tools. You will get four different options in there, click Create or Edit Cables, then select two points in the viewport to see the cables, you can scroll your mouse to increase or decrease the wire count. You can even edit them easily by going to Edit Mode and Extrude it too. To learn more about Geo Cables, I recommend you watch the Geo Cables tutorial, which I have given the link in the description. You can add connectors to the wires, by clicking the option, Import Connectors, and you will be given a hidden collection, which you can see in the Scene Collection. Select Wires and go to Modifiers where you can customize the cables. At the bottom, you will find the connector collection. There you need to select the connectors collection, and soon, you can see all the connectors to the cables, which gives extra detail. The final part of the video is, animating the camera. So go to starting frame, move your camera close to the sphere which is in the center, and insert the location. Then go to frame 100 and bring your camera to the starting position, then insert the location. For the focus, I want my focus distance need to be increased as our camera moves, so let's do it manually by adding keyframes. Coming to render, Set the volumetric to 2 pixel and render quality to 120. Go to color management and set look to very high contrast. And, we are done creating cool sci-fi mechanism environment. Please like and subscribe if you like my video and follow me on social media, link given below.